early finish. Throughout all Saturday's sessions, Lithuanian Edgaras Ryabko struggled with engine problems and couldn't find any pace. So the local hero didn't even make it into Q2. So Ryabko had to go through the qualifying race on Sunday morning to get one of the final starting spots for the Lithuanian Grand Prix. But even right before the start, Ryabko's team tried everything to fix the problem. Without success. P7 at the end of the qualifying race wasn't enough, so for the first time ever, Ryabko did not qualify for his home Grand Prix. Race to qualify Also, American Brent Dillard wasn't expected to enter the qualifying race, having to use his final chance for a spot on the grid of the Lithuanian Grand Prix. But at the end, Dillard put on a show in this 15-lap sprint and stormed from position 5 up to 3 and then fighting with Mette Bjergnes for that second spot. After several laps boat-to-boat -boat racing, Dillard finally passed the Norwegian pilot. To the end of the race, Dillard even could close the gap to leader Rube Tempa. Even though Dillard was already safe qualified for the Grand Prix, he tried to beat Tampa as well and almost got the Austrian at the pit turn. At the end, Tampa won ahead of Dillard and Mette Birkness. Race Facts It's the third time the Grand Prix of Lithuania is held at Kaunas and again more than 25 pilots entered the event. 20 drivers are qualified for the Grand Prix, with Rashid Al Kemzi starting the race from pole position. The Grand Prix course in Kaunas, 2 km, 4 left and 1 right hand turn. The distance of the race, 45 laps. The race. All boats are lined up on the starting pontoon. The red light turned off and 20 boats on their way to the first turn at the first race of the 2019 season. And pole setter Al Kamzi with problems at the start. I lose my start because uh, the engine uh, not a start. Uh, so I try to push hard. I give uh, all what I have. So it was Stefan Hagen and Tobias Mintekas fighting for the lead with advantage Hagen. The German pilot slipped through and could easily build up a gap to second to Bias Mintekas. On third position it was Rashid Al Kamzi who tried to get closer to Hagen and Mintekas. Meanwhile, American Brent Dillard, who started 17th, raced through the field, gained one position after another. Before the race, Dillard promised to put on a show, and he did. In a spectacular way, the American pushed as hard as he could and at the end he finished fourth, almost making it on the podium in Kaunas. You know, guy was on my side there uh, many times. Uh, had the boat sideways, almost blew it over. And it's amazing how comfortable you get with riding on the edge. While Hagen seemed to be in his own world, leading the race by more than seven seconds, Akamzi came closer to Minte Kass. When the Norwegian pilot touched a turn boy, so yellow came up and Hagen lost all of his advantage at this point. But it was even worse for Minte Kass on second spot, who got a one lap penalty for dislocating that turn boy. The restart and Hagen could keep the lead, so did Minte Kass with his second spot and Al Kamzi pretty close on third. But all of a sudden, Hagen stopped in the turn. Chaos behind him when the whole field tried to avoid Hagen at the pit turn. The race was over for the German, who thought this would easily be his first win in Formula 2. Yellow was up again and a very disappointed Stefan Hagen was towed back to the pits. Again, the restart. And now it was Tobias Mintekas leading the race on the water, but with one lap penalty, he lost all chances for a podium. So it was Rashid Al Kamzi leading the Grand Prix. Much more surprising were Daniel Segenmark and Ferdinand Sandbergen all of a sudden on position two and three. And nobody was close enough to catch them, so for both, it was their best ever F2 result and the first ever podium at a Formula 2 Grand Prix. It's fantastic. It's really hard. Oh! 
really long wait before the race, uh, really hot in the cockpit and a lot of yellow flags. It, yeah, it was real tough, real happy. Uh, I can't believe it right now, but it was good. <laughs> it was a good race, first time, so uh, I'm really happy about it. The winner of the race at the end was indeed Rashida Kamsi, the pole setter and the lucky one of this dramatic Grand Prix. I am very happy for uh, this result and uh, we're gonna push more, uh, more, more harder. We'll check uh, some uh, issues uh, with the engine because uh, in the start, uh, not the start. So now it's Rashid Al Kamzi who is leader of the championship again after his title win two years ago. And guess what? That year he was also the winner in Kaunas. The next round will be the Grand Prix of Norway. And one thing is for sure, it is going to be a pretty close championship this year. So stay tuned and follow F2 on YouTube. Facebook and F2WorldChamp.com. <laughs>